Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now just a quick little disclaimer, today's video is not going to be a tutorial like the farm video was. This is, I mean this one isn't really too hard to make, but I will show you guys the wiring and all that if you guys want to replicate it yourselves. But I'm not going to show you guys how to make it unless you guys want me to. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, recently I went to a baseball tournament. My little brother was competing in what's basically nationals and in honor of that I figured I'd make two little baseball mini games. So let's get started. Alright, so let's grab out our uniform and our bat and our pitching gloves. So let's see how we look. We look like we do roller derby. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so I've come up with two games. One of them's a pitching game and one's a batting game. Now the pitching game, I couldn't get it to work with snowballs or the fire charges, flame charges, because for some reason it doesn't let me throw those anymore. I don't know what if that changed with an update, but I'm no longer able to do that. So. I have to use a bow. Let's grab some arrows so that doesn't look so weird. Some green ones. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to use a bow and and or a crossbow. Personally, I think the bow works better just because you actually have to charge it and you can control how much pullback you have. But nonetheless, let's take a quick. Let's play the game real fast. So with this lever, we gotta turn it off and on quickly. As you can see, our goal is to hit that button. If we hit that button, the piston will stay up and that means we hit the target. So it's just a quick look at the wiring. Now this one moves a lot faster, but we have to keep the lever turned on. So let's turn this stuff off and I'll show you the wiring for that one as well. Alright, but the wiring for this one is a lot simpler. But as you can see, it causes this comparator causes the quick repetition. Which, by the way, when used on the cobblestone farm, produces cobble like constantly. That's it. All it produces, no stone, just cobble. Quick little demos. So yeah, all right, okay, now that we have all that out of the way, let's play some ball. All right, so this game is called Strikeout. So that said, we have to stay on the mound and let's see how we do. Ooh, that was awful. Okay, so we got one, that's good. Let's see here. And we got him, sweet. Only one ball and two strikes. Yeah. Now it's a little, I think it's, I feel like it's a little easier with the crossbow, but that's just your choice. So now let's play Hey Bata Bata. So this is our bat. It's not much, but it is a, it does work the way that we need it to without killing the thing that we're hitting because you'll see. Alright, so for Hey Batter Batter, which is the game I'm about to show you guys, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna show you the redstone until after we play the game, and that's just because we have to tear up the little field. Oh, by the way, I mean, I kind of designed these after batting cages, so, yeah. Anyway, so honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this game reminds me more about golf, like mini golf, than it does 
Anyway, it reminds me more about golf than it does baseball. Just because, well, we gotta hit the ball, the target into the into a hole. After which, we'll get a fire charge, which will launch. And the goal is for you to hit one of these wool blocks. Each wool block is a point, and in this game, the highest you can score is five. Now, realistically, I would only play this with seven pitches. As in, I got three strikes, four balls, but, you know, that's totally up to you. So let's give this a whirl. See, and sweet, we got one. And we missed. Great. Let's try that one. Uh, okay. Let's go again. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Gosh, freaking chickens. Don't believe what the chickens tell you. There was absolutely no chaos and everything is under control. But let's keep playing. Let's see, and. Bam! At one point. Let's go right here. No, nope, not right there. Uh uh. Haha! <gasps> -ha. And we missed. Great. Oh, no, there we go. And the hardest target to hit is the one that's way out there. I've only hit it like once or twice. Oh my gosh. So be there we go. I'll pretend we did, but we missed. Alright, so. Anyway, that's been Hey Batter Batter. So let's take a quick look at the redstone, starting off with the chicken dispenser. So, we have the pressure plate here to symbolize. Let me kill the chickens first, actually. All right, so a quick look at the redstone. So starting off with chicken dispenser, which in this case is your ball. The pressure plate is home base and a line of redstone that just curls up through here, which causes the dispenser to, well, pop out a chicken hit right here and it'll slowly float down and then yeah now the mechanics for all of everything else is a little harder so let's start off with the way that we're doing everything down here so I will tell you right now there's a chance even though you hit it into the target that the chickens won't die because I have had chickens get stuck inside these little areas, in which case it's gotta just kill them. But anyway, we have the lava down here to kill the chickens. And right here we go ahead and have the tripwire, tripwire on the other side, and a string. So when anything crosses, it triggers, and it fires. And it triggers, and it fires. And that's the same mechanic I used on all the other ones. Now let's see the redstone starting off with the hole all the way down here. Here you have the same setup as over there, the block, and then some redstone wiring, plus a repeater. So right here, it had to do it a little wonky because of this area right here. In which case, that one should just turn on right there and should be good if you connect it the same way that I did. The string. Yep. So it'll trigger these ones around it, and again, just follow the pattern. Little repeater just to make sure the signal doesn't die. All the way to the back side. Now the one over here is a little trickier because this one we actually had to dig into the ground to see, but it's the same thing essentially. Same thing. Tripwire here, the block. Redstone goes through here, right there. I also connected everything to this back side, I believe. Hold up. It's over here. Alright, so this one you don't want. Ignore that. Because if you do that, you'll get two charges instead of one. But everything else is connected the same way. 
and then just fill up the chicken dispenser with chickens if you're doing the survival. Of course, you'd be using eggs. And this dispenser with fire charges. And then you set up your targets. Make sure that they're not side by side. Because if one catches fire, then the other one will, and then you won't know what your actual score is. And I use light concrete for that. Anyway, you can just design you can design your play area however you want. But I already showed you guys the wiring. Oh, and to get the knockback 2 effect on the shovel, all you gotta do is get yourself the book. So you get a shovel, you put it right here, put the book right here, and you get knocked back too. And that's it. The other way you can do it is through an enchanting table. I don't know how long that would take, but this is how I did it in order for to play this game. So that's been the baseball mini games. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you would like to see a tutorial on how to build this, I mean I did show the redstone, but in case you would rather I explain it, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a follow-up video. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.